Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Blink Conception, where we talk about wealth, finance, money, stocks, pretty much anything wealth uh, and money related. As you can see, today we did amazing. We're up almost 3%. The past week, up almost 10%. Because today and yesterday were super good in stocks. But here is a quick video about how I get my portfolio to be so good. And that is all about emotional intelligence. So when you're talking about wealth, stocks, or anything money related, there's pretty much two types of uh, intelligence you need. And when most people think of intelligence, they think of like GPAs, like school intelligence. But what you really need in life is financial intelligence and emotional intelligence. Financial intelligence is pretty much this whole video is about, or not the video, my whole channel, because everything is financially related. And uh, you kind of need a lot of financial literacy to do a thing with stocks. But also what corresponds with financial intelligence is emotional intelligence, the main point of this video. Emotional intelligence is a huge part of stocks or anything money related because you need to be disciplined. You have to have a strategy. You can't be all emotional when you're doing all this stuff. It has to be all about your numbers. You have to be prepared, focused. All of that stuff. You can't see any situation clearly if you have emotional cloud. Like, you're clouded, your vision's clouded, your mind's clouded. If you're thinking about emotions. So the main, um, the most like destructive emotion is going to be anger followed by love or happiness. These destroy you. This is not only just the stocks, this is your entire life. When you are angry, uh, in love, happy, sad... Any emotion, you should not be making decisions. It is going to blind you. It's going to give you harmful inten uh, intentions, not only for you, but for other people. So you kind of want to be patient. You want to not, you don't want to suppress those emotions, but you want to learn how to control them and express them in a proper way. Anger is destructive. It is the most destructive emotion. If you're angry trading stocks, or if you're angry doing anything financially related, you might cause harm you might spend all of your money you might lose all of your money which will happen in the stock market you cannot be angry just as if you're driving a car you have to be emotionless you have to think strategy you have to know exactly what to do because you have to do your research to learn exactly what to do and emotion has zero part zero emotion in all of this you cannot be angry driving a car because you'll go crash into someone and start cursing them out can't be a angry trading stocks because say you lose all your money you might sell out and then you lose all your money because you want to if you lose all your money you want to hold it till it goes back up because you got to have a strategy you can have zero emotion in life no I shouldn't say zero emotion in life you should learn how to control your emotions which is pretty much what financial intelligence um which is what emotional intelligence is controlling your emotions so using your emotional like emotional responses, any short term gain you could possibly have uh, expressing your emotions, you're gonna lose all short term games. You want to think long term because you have to think not just what's gonna happen in the moment. If you like, for example, if you sell all your shares, you can't just think if I lose all my money right now, I'm gonna like I'm gonna lose all my money. This stock just crashed. You have to think long term and you have to have a plan in place to know, okay, in the short term, I might have just lost $100, but in the long term, I might gain $1,000. So you can't use your emotions of the anger of losing the money, impact your decisions on your stock portfolio. You can't sell based off your angry emotions. You have to be patient. And that is mainly the, uh, the number one rule, if I had to pick one, that's the number one rule of emotional intelligence, patience, think it out process it in your mind don't react right away you have to be patient and that's in everything in life not stocks related say your brother is mad at you starts yelling at you don't yell back be patient calm yourself take a breath think about reper uh, repercussions before you do anything you want to be emotionally intelligent and I've read many books about this subject. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. It was my, I think my second or third video. I gave a whole list of recommendations of books I've read. And many of them are about emotional intelligence. Because that is a huge part of finances. 
money, wealth, stocks, all about emotional intelligence, all about your responses. So yeah, I just want to make a quick video for you guys. Uh, this is just a super, super short summary. You have to read all of these books. There's like freaking, there's probably like 10, maybe 12 books on there about emotions. And you need to know this stuff in your life. You can't be overreacting. You need to think, develop your uh, process, think about it all, be patient. Don't execute anything without looking over sh long term goals. Because if you all you think about is short term and short term uh, gains, there's no point. You're gonna you got it long term. Just as I said with your stock portfolio, you got to think long term because there's a greater chance of you getting. Uh, what you want, greater chance of getting the money if you think super long term. You can't think within a five minute time span. You have to think years and years and years ahead. So that's just a quick video for you guys. Make sure you read those books, uh, do your research, watch other videos. It's all about emotions, baby. Emotions. Everyone has them. You have to learn to control them. Don't suppress them. Control them. Learn how to express them. And your life will change. I promise you that. Your life will be completely different if you learn not to overreact, think about something before you do it, and your whole life will be different. So make sure you guys give this a uh, big thumbs up, like it for me guys. Uh, it really helps the algorithms and it helps more videos like this be put on your timeline so you can learn more. Uh, comment what you want to hear next. Uh, this is a huge thing you guys have to know. So. No one told me to make this. I needed to tell you guys this. So comment what else you guys want to learn about financial literacy or even I'll, I can make more videos about emotion if you guys want or anything else uh, stock related. So leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you again tomorrow.